Hey guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video based on cloud computing. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what is AA model or triple A model in cloud computing. So this is a very essential model which is used for many of these clouds like public cloud, private or hybrid clouds. So uh, in today's video, let's understand what this AAA stands for. And to begin with, uh, let's begin uh, this with diagram. So we have this diagram, basic diagram. It's very simple. Uh, so AA basically stands for authentication, authorization and accounting of the utilized resources. So uh, in this the setup basically is you have a user or a corporate employer or a user will be there and then you have some kind of system or a cloud system will be there uh, which has a router and which has two components app server and DB server and then finally you have your AA server that is authentication, authorization and accounting server which is kept outside the network so uh, these are the three main components involved in this so the communication takes place in this way uh, so first the user uh, just enters his login id as well as password so it's like kind of a banking application while you do your net banking or any kind of uh, relevant application which you do online so in that you may be requiring some kind of token or user id or password like credentials which you would be giving to the end system and it will populate you with the relevant screen. So uh, it's kind of that thing in the very first step. After that it moves to the app server, DB server and the client sends the ID and password across the network to AA server. So it's like uh, it's all routed through this router and it just checks with the app server and DB server. App server is for processing and DB server is used for checking the credentials. Then after that uh, an AA query is fired by this system to the AA server. Now what it checks is, uh, it checks whether the server authenticates whether the entered information is correct or not. Whether that uh, user login ID as well as password it matches with its database or not. So for that uh, this AA server comes into picture and then finally the AA server authorizes client for certain roles or access based on certain data sets which is uh, the user is allowed to perform. So uh, this is an overview of how the AA model works. So this is the flow of how it works. Uh, let's move on to the components like we have the authentication very first. So authentication is nothing but it's uh, validating user's identity whether to permit or reject the login. So it's like uh, for many of your online transactions you may be banking applications you may be given a login ID or a token which you can directly uh, login into your mobile application or uh, net banking kind of stuffs. So uh, it's a kind of uh, token or a small kind of username or a login name. Uh, maybe an email ID might be in some cases might be you be using for that. So it's required to access system. Uh, that system could be a router, a switch or a storage. So it's like a, a terminal would be there and on that terminal you would be having one kind of page or a small uh, user interface would be there. So you have to enter your login ID and password. Uh, then the ID in this case could be a name or a login ID and password could be an OTP or a digital certificate or a phone number like uh, you may be required to uh, call on some particular number and you will be given some one time token or some kind of uh, code or something may be given. So that's basically your ID uh, and password is and then finally it compares with the DB database and permits or grants access. Uh, next after that after the authentication part is done authorization is uh, the most crucial kind of thing in this entire process so uh, this actually permits to do certain activities for that user now for example if uh, I'll be sending some uh, files to some particular kind of my student so uh, it's like I can have that access that is read write and modify kind of access so rwxy access is there across my uh, sheets or uh, which I provide to my users or students. So it's like uh, I have the full control of what uh, they can do either they can download it or they can view it or they can modify it. So uh, that all thing comes under authorization and user issues a command that command is uh, mainly the AA query that is authentication authorization and accounting query and AA server decides to allow or deny execution of this command. So it's like based on this credential validity after this is validated this comes into picture and in this kind of uh, I have said control of access is there. So access control is mainly done by role based access control RBAC. 
so in this user will have some particular kind of hierarchy or some particular kind of level may be there uh, he may be a team leader or he may be just an employee he may be the boss or uh, he may be uh, some kind of hierarchy or uh, some kind of uh, functionality the protocol might be there so that it has to uh, follow so for that it can either accept the ip tokens or time of the day when it's uh, accessed or quality of service kind of thing and then uh, for authorization uh, users can have uh, this kind of uh, kind of authorizations uh, it can have data user can view which data the user can view which data the user can edit commands the user can run and apps the user can start and the level of access within each apps like in each apps uh, you may be having uh, some kind of only particular login functionality or just you can view that kind of particular app so it's like the basic drill down of the applications which you do in that so uh, these are the five uh, types of authorization permits that user can do in authorization and next you have the final thing that is the accounting of the cloud uh, resource utilization so how much resources have been utilized in that uh, from that particular cloud uh, it just gives you a log or just gives you a summary or a report of that entire thing so uh, it just gives only a log of the utilized resources by that particular user with that particular role and it has following seven components like uh, on that particular report or summary chart you will get to know the identity of the user or who used it amount of the resources used number of or the quantity of the resources which are used start and end time of the use when it's being granted and uh, when that resource has been released then the amount of data which is being transferred length of the connection so for how much time of the day or how much time of the night that connection has been established and the purpose of using that resource for what purpose it's for good purpose or legal purpose it's being used so it checks or it gives a summary of that also and then uh, the nature of the service delivered how was the uh, service whether it was uh, a proper service or uh, how it was over a phone call or how it was a direct interaction so that kind of uh, nature of service is being delivered and uh, basically in this kind of uh, accounting information you have two kinds of reports that is there you have the real time accounting information and then you have the batch accounting information so real time accounting information is uh, useful when you have to monitor it or you have to gather all the informations which are there throughout that particular day so from the start of the uh, bank that is uh, at what time the bank starts until the closure of the business like cob is reached so what all activities which is being done in that bank so all those real time data are fetched in this kind of report that is real time accounting information and finally you have batch accounting information that's like for a, a month uh, one particular month how many kind of transactions uh, which is mainly used for historical or transactional data so well that was all regarding the aaa model or triple a model in cloud computing so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much